Do you see what I see? It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. If a landscape is a picture of land, and a cityscape is a picture of a city, what do you think a picture of the sea would be called? If you said seascape, you're right. Today I want to show you how to draw a seascape. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. I have a 9 by... Actually, this is a 12 by 18 piece of drawing paper. So it's a little bit larger. That'll give me plenty of room to draw all the things that I want to draw in this picture. You can use a smaller size. That would be fine too, but I would recommend a larger size. Like I said, just to give you more room to draw lots of different things. And we're going to start this off a lot like a landscape. There are three places within the picture. And we're going to add a, a fourth to this one, though. Um, let's First of all, let's start with the horizon line. So we're going to come down from the top and make a line that goes all the way across our paper. I have my paper turn the landscape way, or also you could say horizontal. Um, this is the horizon line. This is where the normally the sky and the earth meet. In this case, it's where the sky and the water meet, where the sea meet, the ocean. So that goes all the way across the back. So things that are back here are still, in, we would still call that the background. They're still far away and they look smaller. Things that are close up will look larger. Things that are low on the page will look larger and they look like they're closer to us. And then things out here are in in the middle, or that's the middle ground still, even though it's not ground, it's water. <laughs> so it's still called the middle ground. Now in the middle ground in our uh, picture today, I am going to draw um, a tropical island. It's not a real big one, but it's it's out here in the ocean. I just want to draw, start by drawing a curve. And this re represents the actual land. And then I'm going to draw kind of a wavy line here for where the it goes down into the sea. Okay, so this is our island that's rising up out of the sea. And then I want to have this. So this is out in the middle ground. And then in the foreground, I'm going to do something just a little bit different. I want to draw a line that goes all the way across the top or across the bottom here, and it's about four inches probably from the bottom. Uh, you could measure that if you like, but it doesn't have to be exact. But about that high up, and that gives us room to draw things that are under the water, and that's what I'd like you to do here. These draw something that is under the water. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to get you set up to and started, and then you're going to finish this project. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw, I'm going to show you how to call, draw a couple palm trees here on the island. I'm going to start by, you could draw one or more, I'm going to draw two on this island. You could, you could come up with more than that or you could just have one, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by drawing two lines that curve out to the sides. And this gives me the basic curve of the tree. And then what I want to do is make underneath here a, a line that curves where the tree is going into the ground. I'll do I'll do both trees here at the same time. We'll just take turns. And then I start wide here at the bottom, like other trees. It starts off wide and gets narrow as it goes toward the top. And it's just going to follow that same curve. So that's that tree trunk. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Starts off wide at the bottom and gets narrow at the top. And I want to erase inside the trees where they overlap the top edge of this island. And also this one's going over the horizon line. So I need to erase in, inside of it where it's going over the horizon. Okay, the trees themselves have rings on them. So we're going to draw these curves that go down and this will help make the tree look more rounded. Same thing over here. And then the leaves on top are going to 
radiate out from a central point. So I'm going to make a line that curves out and then we'll curve back in. Do the second one on this side. Let's do go the other way here. Curve out and curve back in. And that looks pretty good with four. I might do one more that goes more straight back like this. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Curve out and go in. They get larger. The ones down lower might look shorter and the ones up higher just a little bit larger. And let's do another one that curves out this way. And you don't have to do a lot of those. This is a, a fair amount and it looks like four or five is going to be a good amount for the top of the tree. You could try more but I think that's probably good. And then this is going to be like a coconut tree so I'm going to add three coconuts, three circles here underneath the leaves. And we can shade those in just a little darker. Okay, now let's think about some things we could have in our seascape here. I'm going to give you some ideas, and you may have ideas of your own. And then I want you to just go ahead and you'll finish the rest of this on your own. You might have back here in the background, maybe there's an ocean liner. Or maybe there is another island that's a lot farther away that you can see a little bit of. You could also in the sky, you could have airplanes or... You could also have birds, you could have any clouds, you could do a sunset back here in, in the horizon, or a sunrise. On the island you could have people, or animals. Maybe there's a buried treasure here that's being dug up, or an X that marks the spot where there is treasure. Maybe there are seashells on the shore. You could put a little hut right here in the middle, a little house. Maybe there's a hammock that somebody's laying in or lying in. In the water, you could put shark fins. You could put a periscope. You could have a dolphin that's leaping or a porpoise leaping through the water. Um, and under the water, of course, you could have fish. Maybe there's a sunken ship. And again, with a seascape, the neat thing about that, you could draw things that you would really see out in the ocean. Uh, fish and, and whales and, and uh, divers and boats and you could draw all those kind of things. Or you could draw make-believe things. You could draw mermaids. You could draw some kind of sea monster. So it's, uh, as far as how you finish that, it's going to be up to you. Have fun. Be creative. Take your time. Do a good job. When you get done, you can clean up your drawing. You, you might add color to it that would make it look more exciting. Uh, so just have fun with this. And this is our project for today, a seascape. Once you've finished your picture, show it to someone else and tell them what you've learned. Well, thank you for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you later. Hi, bye. Oh, I see. A seascape.